Hello, I'm Martin Fenska and welcome to another part of Let's Play Battle Brothers. In the previous part, we finally found our first unique item, Hedge Knight's Avenger, but the problem of course is it's a one-handed sword, which means we don't have anyone who'd be able to really use it effectively. Though with the sword in the inventory, uh, maybe it's not a bad idea now to try and find a duelist someone who would be able to use it well so that's like the long-term plan now let's try to find the duelist and uh, make a character specialized in using one-handed sword that's one thing that i had to make some changes after the previous fight because um, uh, some of our brothers in quite bad shape so either i had to move them back a bit like apostolis is now standing in the second row or uh, Wolf uh, had to be moved to reserve uh, with the deep abdominal cut and cut like muscle is in extremely bad shape so I even gave some of his uh, items to other people and overall I made some changes uh, to the gear pretty much to everyone especially in the front line uh, with the full helmet and uh, coat of scales that we got uh, in the previous part uh, we, uh, or I upgraded uh, the gear of both Douglas and Einar. And there's even one more thing I want to do. I want to give the heavy lamellar armor to Einar as well. The reason is simple. Uh, once uh, our Axemen started running around solo, they will have no support from other people. Uh, which means they need the heaviest armor we can uh, give them. Uh, while our Swordsmen... Well, eventually they also have the heaviest armor uh, we or the the game uh, can give us or that is in the game but uh, it's a lower priority because they have support from both spearmen and uh, uh, the archers so for now they should be able to handle all the fights with the uh, armor that's a little bit worse Uh, there was one more thing that I changed, but it's probably not important. These things I mentioned, that's the most important part. Oh, I know. Um, with the sword, we also should uh, fulfill another ambition. So, we'll get a new one today. And, uh, of course, uh, we have to again wait like a day or two to uh, repair at least some of the damage before we can get into another tough fight right now the problem is that the damage is not spread around uh, most of the damage ended up on Alfgaier uh, so his armor is now almost gone and there is someone else I know the helmet is halfway gone so it's gonna take forever to repair this but well uh, enough talking, let's just start playing. Uh, we have a quest in Berkeley that I want to check, so let's start with that. Uh, what is this? Uh, 80 crowns per head patrol, perfect. That's what I was hoping this would be. It was two skull quests, so two skull qu uh, quests from noble houses usually are patrols. So, uh, again, exactly what we want in the perfect timing because um, there is no pressure we have seven days for this which means we can wait like a day or two and we can fight whatever we want so we definitely accept this one and it even sends us in the right direction so perfect i still have a feeling that i forgot to tell you about something guys that i changed off camera but uh, yeah probably not important here is the ambition everyone's super happy but, well uh, if you notice that something is different uh, uh, compared to what it was in the previous part yeah, that's the thing i forgot about uh, and i changed it off camera there are really quite a few changes i made okay don't go out Oh, you have disappearing villages and ambush trade routes. Hmm, that could be a problem. 542 for tools and supplies. Are you kidding? 145 for ammo. 
that's not that bad i definitely don't want to sell anything expensive here and maybe we don't want to sell anything at all still have enough room in the inventory and we are heading north to goldhoft anyway what i'm gonna do is buy one stack of ammo So expensive, and because they're disappearing villages, there'll be no one to hire. Well, uh, that's quite sad. I wanted to uh, spend a lot of gold in Dunkelwald. Okay, maybe next time. Once we are done with the patrol, we could uh, go to Dunkelwald and uh, do the quest they have. Oh, what is this? War dogs, raiders, marksmen. Oh, we don't want to attack many marksmen. Are they running? Or are you gonna try something? Or it's possible they have no idea what they want to do. I don't want to fight them. Especially not during the day. Let's go faster. And Gold of now has safe roads. That's not bad. Might get better prices here. Let's see. 221 for tools and supplies. Cool. Let's get the red rid of all of these. And uh, 604 for the ornate home. We could probably get a bit more in some other city. But it would be most like like 50 gold or something like that. So it's not uh, wait waiting. Let's just sell everything we don't need here. Good. Oh, it's also 110. Never mind. So let's solve this one. Now, we definitely need to buy the tools and supplies. That's for sure. 166 for ammo. Well, we have enough for now. And I hope that uh, we will get the uh, ammo for like, I don't know, 80 crowns maybe in Dunkelwald once we... Um, get rid of the disappearing villages and ambush trade routes there this is not a bad price for reinforced mill we have eight and a half thousand it's the worst chest armor that we are using 150 and this is 130. Maybe it's worth it. I'm not, not buying both, but at least one. It's not too expensive. And it was 80 points difference. Now we can... Wasn't there one? Oh, this is what I want to sell. We're gonna keep this one in the reserve. Okay, good. All that we need now is to get 25 heads. And I was thinking about uh, heading north, explore. Come on. Explore it around the edge of the map. I mean, these patches of fog of war are just getting on my nerves. Maybe you could just remove them. Along the way, we can climb this hill in case there is something interesting. And we should find some zombies. There's always something on the snow. But before that, I forgot. This is what I wanted to do and forget about. Uh, level up for Einar. It's going to be reach advantage. Uh, 
and the melee skill range defense this time plus three i'll take over the melee defense and um, well maybe i'll take the melee defense as well we already have 136 fatigue so i'll only take fatigue when we get like plus four i think and instead we'll focus on the defenses as much as possible okay Let's go, let's get some heads. Let's climb this hill. That was easy. And not just easy, this is surprising. This is first brigand camp I see on the snow. Collapsed hiding place. Poachers, marksmen, or it's just one poacher, one marksman and some raiders. Hmm, okay. Let's head north anyway. We're gonna explore here. And then on the way back, we'll attack them because we should get back at night. Wolf suffers infected wound. Perfect. Well, he'll just be in the reserve for a bit longer. Can you make it? Uh, probably not. Uh, and here is another ambition. So we can... What is this one? Yeah, it's a card. You can either get card for seven and a half thousand. Well, not for seven and a half. You need to save up seven and a half thousand. And uh, when we have that, uh, it would cost us, I think, four thousand. And I don't want to pay four thousand right now for the card. That can wait. Mm, discover something and burn it down. We could do this one. We are doing it anyway. And this one is attack goblins. No, we are not attacking goblins. This is any location and this is specifically goblins. So let's go with this one. This really shouldn't be a problem. Uh, are we gonna make it? No, dawn already. But uh, they have only two uh, range units, so it's fine. shooting we can try the marksman but he has partial cover there so I don't think you're gonna hit anything okay you're gonna stay back let's wait one more turn before we start moving forward Good. That was a bit greedy, I should have destroyed the shield. Well, whatever. 53, 63. Well, let's hit this one then. And I'll use shield walls. So I want to get some extra protection for our archers. Oh. 
Oh, nice headshot. Good. Okay, let's kill the shield. It's interesting, they're still not panicking. Now he's running away. That fly is worth uh, quite a bit, so that's why I'm trying to kill all of them. expect much but it's not horrible the arming sword isn't bad flail should be worth a bit ah no let's click this is what i want uh, repairing the hand axe ah uh, why not can repair the sword of course I'll just ignore the crossbow and uh, the short bow those are not worth it and now we head back north <laughs> another ambition fulfilled and now pretty much everyone is euphoric except uh, Gisbert for some reason Come on, keep moving. I want to climb the hill from the north. Good, another location. Let's go there. Then we can go south to abandoned walls. Hey, hello, 21 undead. What is it? Nasarius, Wiedergangers, more Wiedergangers. Uh, that's experience. Let's do that. That's the most important thing now, to fight as much as possible. Uh, large groups, doesn't have to be super tough fights, we just need uh, level ups as fast as possible. Mm. Okay, let's give them time. I'll wait, or everyone will wait one turn. We are fighting on the snow, so it will take them a while to get to us. Minus 30% melee defense. Oh. Okay, we'll stay back with that. Okay, everyone can still wait except archers. We will try to do some damage on this turn. Uh, 
And next turn they can get to us. I don't want to kill anyone though. Because, as usual, when there are Nazaris around, we want uh, the corpses to be as close to us as possible. So let's just... Do some damage. Destroy their armor. Oh, I... Oh, that was a mistake. Uh... I thought that we still were in the previous turn. Never mind. Wait, wait. Now we need the spear wall. That's not a problem, it's just gonna be a bit more busy to the north. Might be enough for a kill. Yep. I just have to find a way how to kill them pretty much all in one turn. Try to hit uh, those in the back because all oh, they are standing in the front line I should die pretty quickly. Okay, and can we kill all of them in one turn now? Let's 
So far, so good. Uh, let's help up here. Good. This one will be a problem. Or maybe not. But no level ups, that's quite disappointing. What about the loot? At least something. Can we repair some of these items? The sword is worth it. Might as well repair the axe, but uh, the bludgeons... They are pretty much worthless. Okay, good. Uh, it seems that uh, the group came from the keep. Which means there'll be more zombies in the keep. Or there should be more zombies in the keep. And we still have four and a half minutes. Let's do it. Of course, we won't be able to finish the fight in four and a half minutes, but... I'd rather have the video longer than short. There are 26. Ah, that's Ares. And so far, it's been only very easy fights. Maybe this... Could be a bit more difficult, but it seems that it's just the same thing again. I'm hoping that there still might be like uh, fallen heroes hiding somewhere in the back. Nothing so far. Zombie, 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 and all of these are just nuts areas. Okay, so another huge zombie army. Give them some time. But even though these fights are not uh, challenging, we can't get upgrades from these fights unless we find a like, random unique item laying in the location. Which is very unlikely, but these are fights that we need. Uh, it's more or less no risk involved. Uh, massive armies, lots of experience. Same thing. I'll just try to do as much damage as possible to their armor. There we go. And uh, we still have time. something we don't know about. No, another zombie. I was hoping that maybe one of fallen heroes still hidden. Okay, first one has to die is the one with the pitchfork. And the 
You have some armor. You have some armor. This one has armor. Come on. Hit it. And let's wait one more turn before we start using our heavies as well. Here is some armor. This one is covered. Let's try... I don't know, this one? Nope. Okay, now the Nasaris should start moving. Oh, that's possible that he can't reach this one. Well, in that case, just wait. Wait, wait. And we can hit this one. But I'm gonna wait anyway. Okay, this is what I wanted. This one now doesn't have cover. So maybe... I'm not sure I want to attack him because then this one can eat the corpse. that you might kill it but maybe it's not too bad we just uh, do some damage and don't kill them might be even better because they still have to move forward they want to get to corpses and that will be easier to kill them I think it's time for a round attack. Oh. Still need much higher melee skill for the round attacks to be effective. Swing? Yeah, swing. Four kills. Not bad. Mm hmm. 
Yeah, this is what I didn't want to see. I was hoping they still could maybe move forward. Attitude is not a bad chance though. He might be able to kill him still. Okay. That was nice. Seventh, that's not a bad chance to hit. There we go. Obviously there's just too many of them and uh, you're not killing them fast enough. With a bit of luck you might be able to kill them on this turn. So what's the biggest problem? This one should die, so that's one. Now, the question is if we have enough damage for this one. We do, perfect. Let's help here. This is just one attack. Uh, Gizbert, you can't get anywhere. So I'll just wait. We can't make it. And we don't have enough uh, fatigue to clear it completely. Damn it. Now there'll be like eight of them coming back. Oh, well, maybe not. there one more to go good what about level ups now now we have two so finally something look at the loot two piles of uh, ancient gold coins just for killing a bunch of zombies I'll take that signet ring and what about the weapons we'll definitely repair some of them So what's it gonna be? Uh, let's repair. No, no, did I? <sighs> did I just leave and didn't take the loot? Oh. I sometimes do this that I click the wrong button. But this one, oh, uh, this one is very expensive mistake. There should be something like 
when you click on leave, then there should be confirm when there are still some valuable items on the screen. It should be like, do you really want to leave? Just for idiots like me. Did I just leave like 4,000 behind? Um... Well, who needs money, right? This is the real Iron Man when you don't pick up any loot. Well, let's just forget about this. This never happened. Next time we'll try again and <laughs> better. Uh, we have 25 heads already. So that should be some money that I uh, can't leave behind. And we are in a good shape. And, you know, we have to be positive. Like now the inventory is empty so that we can clear another location and pick the loot there. I can't believe I left behind two ancient gold coins. <laughs> I'm such an idiot. Uh... Okay, well, as I said, that never happened. Um, we are done for this part. The next one, he'll probably go to Abandoned Walls, back to Birkland, and then we focus on Dunkelwald. We need the better prices there, so that we can buy some ammo down to 47. And after that, maybe once we are done with that, we'll already start fighting the Noble Houses because the war is really close now, or we head to the other side to Galgo or something like that. Yeah, we'll see. For today, we are definitely done. So, I hope that you like this part, that you're gonna join me for the next one again. And until then, have a good time. Bye-bye.